Hi there folks, Ryan Evans here taking a look ahead to what we're working on for Saturday's E-edition of the Times Leader. In breaking news this afternoon, Wilkes-Barre Mayor George Brown announced that the city's St. Patrick's Day Parade will take place this Sunday as scheduled. His announcement comes as Scranton officials decided today that their city's parade, which was set for this Saturday, has been pushed back a week due to the impending snowstorm. And in public safety news, I was in Luzerne County Court today as Alan W. Storms was sentenced to state prison in connection with a 2019 DUI crash that killed his girlfriend on Interstate 81 in Butler Township. The, the court heard, heard from Storms as well as the victim's father as part of the proceedings. And at least five inmates were arraigned Friday on allegations they caused a disturbance by throwing plastic chairs and tables in protest of COVID-19 protocols inside Luzerne County Correctional Facility's Minimal Offender Building. And Ed Lewis has that story for you. And with release of the long-awaited U.S. Census of 1950 just weeks away, genealogists all over America are making their plans for using it to answer questions about their families. And history columnist Tom Mooney will take a look at that milestone. As always, folks, we thank you for reading. If you're not already a subscriber, call 570-829-5000 or visit timesleader.com backslash subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good night.